G'day, my name's Ewan from uh, OOI. For the next few minutes, I wanted to share with you some examples of what businesses are doing uh, in terms of adapting to the new COVID-19 environment, but also I want to share with you some really interesting trends that hopefully might provide you some inspiration about how your business can pivot and thrive in these uh, tough times. First things first, I wanted to show you an example of one of our clients, Bowen Group, who have set up a new um, service delivery uh, called Rapid Response. Going back about a week ago, leads had started to drop uh, down. Uh, what we've done is we've created a new um, sticky footer down the bottom that's really about having relevant information about how that business is currently servicing their clients right now. And immediately by doing that, the client experienced a pickup in leads, which was fantastic. The next thing is, is then when the user comes through to a page, is starting to talk about the solutions the client has to help certain businesses that need help in these times. Once again, being relevant, but connected to the needs of the users. We're really finding in the last week those businesses that are thinking about the customer's need first rather than selling products and services are doing much better than those that haven't adapted their language. Now I'm going to talk about some interesting trends. Well, I wouldn't be Australian if I didn't look at the, the, the famous trend toilet paper. So let's have a look at how, just what happened with Australians with toilet paper. As you can see in Google Trends, uh, fortunately crisis seems to be averted, but we got very excited about toilet paper paper there for a uh, moment in time. Also, I want to look at some other businesses that have been impacted. Um, I think we're all, um, for those who really like to, uh, to stay healthy and go to the gym, you can see that the gym industry has had a huge impact in terms of uh, being closed and now people looking for alternatives. Um, so that's had a big trend in terms of change. And the other businesses that have also had a, a, an impact is the things that we love, particularly uh, in parts of Australia, is going to nice restaurants. We have such, so many wonderful restaurants here that that's something which unfortunately we're not able to do at the moment. Um, so what are some of the things that are happening in terms of bigger consumer trends that I think we should look at? Uh, from a, um, a, um, a trend point of view, certainly hand sanitizer is something that I think we all think is a good thing is going to be here to say. What I'm, I'm interested in with hand sanitizer is the trend seems to have sustained. Unlike toilet paper where it was a real spike and it's now come back down, hand, hand sanitizer and hygiene is something that's really important to all of us going forward, which I think is a great thing. The other new trend in, in, in consumer behavior, which is very important to a lot of businesses, is the term social distancing. Similar to um, hygiene and sanitizers, you'll see there's a sustained trend around social distancing, which is really important in terms of how we deliver our service and how we communicate. I just saw an example yesterday um, of the South Melbourne market, how they've diversified their business to providing uh, you know, takeaway food and drive through services. That's a great example of a business adapting to the new trend where customers are wanting social distancing. So let's share some examples of businesses that are doing really well uh, in the context of this trend. No surprising, um, Zoom, the video conferencing, has had exponential growth, as you'll see in their stock price. That has grown uh, significantly. We've had uh, supermarkets as a trend, obviously with the panic buying going on, there's been big trend for our food essentials. So these are the, uh, the obvious trends. Now I want to talk to you about some not so obvious trends, which I think is the opportunity for everyone listening here today. The, the next one is the trend of online shopping and online fitness. So online shopping, even though it's been very popular for a period of time in terms of e-commerce transactions, with the slowdown in traditional retail, we are seeing a growth of almost 50% in online shopping in a category in the last two weeks. We have had some clients that have really tapped into this that are doing exp you know, uh, uh, extraordinary growth over the last two weeks, which is just fantastic that we are seeing some businesses thrive in these tough times. The other category that's also growing is online fitness. Uh, that's a bit more, that's, that's a, in home gyms, that's obviously very popular. I don't think that category is as well defined as the online shopping area because it's, it's very new, but I think there's a lot of opportunities that can come within that category over the next six months. And then what we're also seeing is this rise of the new term telehealth. So online GP services in a Australia really being supported the last few days and as you can see um, a massive growth in terms of search. So some other little opportunities that I thought may interest you which I thought were quite fascinating uh, we've had the flow-on impact of products so freezers 
So with people thinking about supermarkets, where are they going to store all this food? Well, of course, you know, they need freezers. So um, here's some trends that I think are really interesting. If you've got some new ideas or you want some feedback on your business, on um, maybe some new trends that you want to capitalize on, please drop me a note, send me a comment, and I'm happy to include those insights in upcoming presentations. Thanks for listening.